Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Microsoft Excel series that is currently running into my channel. You can check the playlist in my channel and also check the description box after the video ends. There you will find the link of the Excel data file which I am using in this video. So today we are going to learn how to sum any cell range where the given criteria range is not blank. We are going to use the sum if formula here and adding a little bit trick into that formula. So watch this video till the end. This is your host Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notifications from my channel. And if you have any query about any formula of Excel sheet, you can let me know in the comment section. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Welcome back friends. For your easy reference, I am going to run the OSK file as usual that means the on screen keyboard so that you can notice which of the keys I am pressing in my keyboard. Friends I have already created a file previously. Let's open that file. Here it is. So if you have a data file like this and in my case the data file is like this that some of the products of the company that are sold without any salesperson and some of the customer are going through a salesperson. So if you want to calculate sales when certain values are not blank you can easily use the sum if function. So in this example the formula in G6 cell number will be like this look at here carefully I am typing the formula here you have already checked the formula will be like this let me show you the details equals to sum if we are going to use the sum if function which adds the cells specified by a given condition or criteria then open the first bracket then it is asking for criteria range that range where criteria will be find by Microsoft Excel so in my case I am giving the criteria range as C5 to C11 then put a comma here then it is asking for criteria and here the trick applied we have to type at first the double inverted comma then we have to put the lesser than symbol then the greater than symbol then we have to close the double inverted comma then again put a comma here then it is asking for some range the range where the amount will be calculated after selecting that sum range simply close the first bracket and hit the enter button look at here friends it is showing the result without any errors so let me check if the result has been given accurately so I am adding the amount sale manually I am using the sum function I am adding this one so that you can check that it is it has been gone through a salesperson then put a comma then again this one it has been also gone through a salesperson then again putting a comma then this one and this one then simply hit the enter button look at here friends these values are same that means we have got the accurate result so let's check how the formula actually works the sum if function supports all of the standard excel operators 
including not equal to which is input as like this greater than and lesser than symbol when you use an operator in the criteria for a function like sum if you need to enclose it in double quotation when you use only greater than and lesser than symbol in a criteria you can think of the meaning as not equal to empty or not empty so that's all for today friends hopefully you have learned a new trick of sum if formula today if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends who wants to learn Microsoft Excel absolutely free. Share your opinion in the comment box. Keep learning, keep supporting my channel and stay tuned.